A heroin. Welcome here to Big Rapids, Michigan. We're about a good hour or so north of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'd say a good, hmm, a good 40 minutes, probably south of Cadillac, Michigan. And we got M20 right beside me. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful afternoon here, although it's kind of on the cloudier side today. Player here, right here in downtown, and that pretty cool bull, bulldog. It's it's actually the the mascot of Ferris State University, which is actually the south part of Big, Big Rapids, about a good mile to the south of here. As this is also a campus town. Big Rap has been around since 1855. Actually, was founded by Georgia and Zira French, which eventually became a village a few years later, and then 1869 actually acquired city status. But with it being June, yeah, there's not too many students in Big Rapids right now. So downtown area is on the quieter side, but still has its very nice char charm and. Oh yeah, right here, this is the... Then you, yeah, right here, this is the Fairman Building. Actually, it's this building it was built back in 1880, 1881. Although the Fairman's Apparel has only been here for about 10 or 11 years. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Almost looks like he has a mustache, but he actually doesn't. <laughs> Yeah it's, yeah, it's pretty quiet here in downtown here in the late afternoon. Yeah, actually, a lot of the stores in here are actually closed for today. Yeah, that was a pretty rare sight. I, this is probably the first J.C. Penney I've ever seen outside a shopping center or a shopping mall. Yeah, and we have another another bulldog over here, here at this corner with the other one over there. But over here, this is like the other half of the downtown area. Oh, the Schuberg building. That's actually slightly older, 1874. It's one nice thing I like about a lot of the downtown area, especially in Michigan. You can see a lot of historic buildings. Many of them which are still used today for, although not, probably not the same store that was around like in the 19th century, but so it's always great, always great to have some form of business in a, in a very historic building. But yeah, it's definitely on the quieter side because yeah, there, a lot of the stores are closed today. <laughs> Female bulldog. <laughs> Over there, that's the big, the big rapid city hall. Oh, those are some cool sculptures over there. Let's go take a quick look. <laughs> hey there. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. Definitely, in a little bit, definitely want to head over to over to the park near the Muskegon River. That's where I'll probably be finished off the video today. But what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to really quick head into the Ferris State University campus, which is just a little bit to the south of here. And we've made it to the campus of Ferris State University. This has actually been around since 1884. Although it started out as, as the Big Rapids Industrial School. Which then got shown to Ferris Industrial School and then, then the Ferris Institute and then the Ferris State College and finally Ferris State University. But yeah, right now this is like the commuter parking lot where this is where all the commuters can park their cars. And you can park either by a permit or by the metered parking.
But yeah, uh, Ferris State University actually was founded and named after Woodbridge Nathan Ferris. And just a little bit of a short drive. This is actually the football stadium for Ferris State University, home to the Bulldogs. As you can tell with the Bulldogs at the beginning of the video. But yeah, this is their stadium. Yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, Ferris State University is on the smaller side when it comes to campuses, but that's the one nice thing about some of the campuses in Michigan. There are a lot of smaller universities, which have some of the smaller class sizes. Although, where I actually graduated from, Oakland University, it's a smaller university compared to like U of M and Michigan State, but... But yeah, I really enjoy the smaller class sizes. The the instructors actually can know know each student by name even. All right, before we close out today's video, all right, I need to actually concentrate now, and we're going to head over to Hemlock Park. And we made it to. Hemlock Park. We're just a little bit northeast of downtown Big Rapids and we got the Muskegon River over there. So we're gonna actually head on the head on the river walk and so let's go check out the river and, and the park itself. But before we do, yeah, you can you can also see some tennis courts and also a baseball diamond over there. Yeah, it's a pretty nice park. Actually got a huge play area for the kids over there. And then walk over this way, we have the Muskegon River. Oh, and I need to watch where I'm stepping. Thankfully, my feet are fine. <laughs> or my shoes are fine, I should say. Because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of geese souvenirs right now. And I'm not sure why I'm starting to call call their dropping souvenirs. I know I, said, I, know I started that, I think, in the... Cuyahoga Valley National Park video, but <laughs> it's starting to become a new saying now. Well, here's Muskegon River. And we're going to head back the other way toward the river walk. Although this technically is the river walk, too. Ha <laughs> ha! That's hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, this is a, this is this is one delight of coming to Big Rapids. Um, it's like although the downtown area is kind of quiet today because a lot of stores were closed on clo are closed on the weekends, and also with it being June, not too many people are on are on campus. Yeah, even when I went over to the campus, it was kind of quiet with it being the off season. But coming over to Hemlock Park and the and the Riverwalk, this is pretty nice. This is a nice little trail that walks along the the Muskegon River. Actually, an off camera, I saw a couple of people riding some inner tubes. Probably go on this just for just for a little bit. Actually, in a little bit. This is going to go over the Muskegon River. And here she is again. You can even see some rapids over there too. Yeah, pretty cool. Speaking of inner tubers, we got a couple people tubing down the river right here. I'm sure, it's a, I'm sure it's a little bumpy or rocky as you go over the rapids over there, but it looks like it calms down a little bit, though. And here she is. This is the Muskegon River, up close and personal. Yeah, yeah the river is flowing really fast right, right through here.
So a couple of people I saw in the inner tubes just a little bit ago, they probably had a lot of fun going through here. And this is actually, I think, a small island right here. Because, yeah, here's the other part of the river. But, yeah, great view. And you can see M20 o over there as it goes over the river. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, this is pretty nice back in here. This river walk does go up quite a long way to the to the north and actually further north it does cross back over the river. A few blocks further east of here, there's no direct paths straight from this part of the trail, but there's actually a very lengthy hiking trail. I think if you go up here and then kind of go back onto the streets a little bit and then head a few blocks in that direction. That'll take you over to the White Pine Trail State Park. And what's unique about that state park is that it's a state park that, that stretches from Cadillac, Michigan all the way down toward the Grand Rapids area. It's one long hiking and biking trail. Seeing quite a bit of birds in here. But yeah, the, this whole river walk going along the Muskegon River and into the woods here, this has definitely been the highlight of visiting Big Rapids today. See all the different birds in here. Yeah, you can see the river over there too. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn back around and I'm gonna close out the video back where the river walk goes, goes over the Muskegon River. Although this has been one of my, probably one of my shorter videos than average for what I've been doing lately, Big Rapids definitely has quite a bit to offer. Even in the summertime when there's not as much traffic here and a lot of the stores are closed on the weekends and everybody's, all the students are away during the summertime. Big Rapids still has a lot to offer with all of its different parks, especially Hemlock Park out in that general direction. And also the river walk, which goes along the Muskegon River. But yeah, as you can tell, the river is very beautiful here. Well, thank you for watching today's video here of Big Rapids, Michigan. And this is the Scott Man signing out from the Muskegon River.